In this video, I will demonstrate how to use a .zip file to upload multiple files to one discussion post in Canvas. If we scroll to the bottom of any given discussion, you can hit reply to respond to the discussion, and then you can enter whatever you need to enter for the discussion. You can embed your artwork and that kind of thing. But if we look at the very bottom, there's a choose file option. When you choose to upload a file, you can only upload one file at a time. So you can upload either example.jpg or bike.jpg, but if I hold shift and I try to grab more than one at a time, it will not work. So using a .zip option is an alternate method for uploading multiple files to the same discussion post when you're limited to only being able to upload one. This would be an option to use if you wanted to, for this example here, for this creative practice, students have to upload um, their artwork, they have to post their finished design, they have to write a paragraph about their experience with the project, and they also need to provide all of their preliminary work, like any sketches they made, thumbnails, rough, rough um, uh, outlines of their project. All that preliminary stuff is important, but it's secondary to the finished project, and mostly your teacher is the one that wants to see that. And so if you want to have a nice, clean, organized post, you can post your artwork, write your paragraph below that, and then you can attach all of your preliminary work to the discussion as one file. The process to make a zip file on a Mac is pretty easy. Uh, all you're going to do is create a folder, give that folder a name. So I'm going to call this my last name, underscore black squares. And then I'm going to put any, oh, I spelled that wrong. Hang on one second. I'm going to put any artwork that I want to share just as one file in there. So I'm going to use the bike as an example, example as an example, FedEx, this um, Southern Utah example. And we'll pretend that that's all my preliminary work. It's my sketches, my thumbnails, and my roughs that were required for the project. Once everything that you want to share is inside that one folder, right click on the folder and choose compress. If you're on a PC it is usually something like right click send to compressed file. On a Mac it will say compress and then quote the name of the folder. And when you do that it'll immediately make a new .zip file. That .zip file is one file that I can upload to Canvas. If I double click on it on a Mac I can uncompress it. It will open and create a new version of that file folder and I can see that everything I toss in that folder is still inside the folder. On a PC, you usually have to right click and choose uncompress file. If you double click, it does this like peek into thing and it doesn't actually uncompress the file. So now if we go back to Canvas and I want to reply to the post, I can say this is my artwork for the project. Isn't it wonderful? I can embed my artwork. So let's go to Google Drive for a second and let's actually embed some artwork. All of this is covered in a separate video. Just so you can see what a post might look like. And then instead of adding a bunch of images of my preliminary work, I can hit choose file, find wherever that dot zip file is, so current underscore black squares, and hit open. When I post a reply, you will see, and my internet's dragging a little bit today, that now I have a post, I zoomed in by accident, I can write my paragraph explaining what I did for my project. I can embed a copy of my final design. And then as a secondary, kind of second level of organization, I can attach the file as a .zip. My teacher can click on it and download it. And then they can open it. And they'll be able to see all of my preliminary work in a nice organized way. This is only one option. I recommend it. But you can decide how you want to organize your posts on your own as long as they're neat and orderly and they're organized in a purposeful way.